So welcome to the Department of Mechanical Engineering SIRT. Today, uh, today we will see uh, the forging defect. Before that, you know, I have taken two lectures, and if you have not uh, gone uh, through that video, I think you should go from uh, that video at first. Then you you should prefer this video. So uh, I will share the link of that video just uh, you know below this uh, video so definitely from here you can go or you can access that video from here at first i am um, dr amitavas and this is brief description about my qualification so uh, one by one we are going to see about the forging defects and the first one is unfilled a uh, section the first uh, means one by one uh, defect we will see the very first one is this is unfilled uh, section in the forging so what what are these sections the name itself says means the com die uh, you know uh, is finally means the product we are going to get is not filled properly that may be due to the improper ductility of the material or improper die design whatever the reason uh, may be but the final product will be uh, unfilled section that may cause due to, uh, in the you know variation of uh, the desired product dimension of desired product so the, the, the these are some of the reason and i have mentioned it as point by point so i think you should uh, go in the same manner I, as i have mentioned it here so as the name implies in this type of defect some of the forging section remains unfilled so uh, the next uh, tap uh, uh, what point is this is due to pro poor die design and poor forging technique you have opted uh, you know so this is due to less raw uh, less raw material or poor heating poor heating means indirectly they are telling us about the ductility controlling of the ductility means if we we'll heat it means the material will get softened and uh, due to which the ductility of the material will be increased that's why it can flow through each and every corner of the die and to fill that die in a proper manner as per our requirement so this this is uh, 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 due to less egg or if raw material is not available in a proper quantity so it may lead to the another means it will not fill the die completely that's why these type of defect may occurs and uh, yeah, this defect can be removed by proper die design obviously whatever the negative things that we have left behind that should be you know properly uh, covered up so that to get the desired work piece or dimension of the desired work piece so the proper die design proper availability of raw material i think some extra material we need to supply so that that will ensure the complete uh, uh, what full means complete filling of the die cavity if some extra portion is there so it may be machined you know by machining we can get the proper dimension but if the size of the work piece final work piece is less then it cannot be recovered you know so positive uh, you know this is left it by positive dimension that that is the main important thing you, you can see in this figure the first figure itself you can, here you can see this portion of the die where i am this uh, arrow pointing here this this portion of the uh, die is unfilled this may be due to proper uh, for, you know you have applied the force in a, some lesser you know magnitude with some uh, lesser pressure you have applied or either ductility may be less here so whatever the reason is this is just looks like this so you need to draw the uh, figure in the similar manner as i have shown here so that and just in uh, during the examination uh, just write down in the same manner as i have mentioned here so next is cold set so the cold set includes small cracks at the corners and these defects occurs due to improper die a design of the forging die it is also due to sharp corner and excessive chilling in forging product the fillet radius of the die should be increased to remove these defects so 
these type of cracks will be developed and uh, this is upper die and this is lower die and this is the problem of cold set you can see here there are some cracks are there this is a cold set problem so uh, uh, you suggest it is also due to sharp corner excessive as i have mentioned excessive chilling in the fold product the fillet radius of the die should be it should increases to remove the these type of uh, defects so uh, the, the, these may be taken as a remedies that you can remove better by using you know also apart from this one proper cooling rate proper ductility so take care of these things also for the proper controlling of the uh, surface crack uh, means if uh, some thermal gradient temperature gradient is uh, present inside the workpiece that may lead to the you know this uh, the thermal stress and due to this thermal stress thermal strain will be generated and that may lead to the crack of the surface of that piece. so we should take care of these things while we are forging a material and we are getting the product so just take care and design the die in a proper manner so the next effect is scale pits effect the scale pits effects are due to improper cleaning of the forged surface if, if some dust and some small particles are there and due to hammering or uh, that hammering may be manual or automate, automated um, hammering but uh, uh, that scale some of the dust dust are you know that get entrapped into the surface of surface of the um, workpiece that may lead some uh, you know some impression type you will get uh, i'll show you the figure so that you can understand it in a very easier manner this defect generally associated with the forging in open environment because in open environment we cannot control the flow of dust and all these things so these things are very important it is the irregular dis deputation on the surface of forging so this is also very important it can be removed by proper cleaning of the forged surface whether you can go for the simple cleaning or acid pickling that depends on the types of dust and uh, if some cold welded part are there then you should go for the acid pickling also so how it looks like is a thing the, these type of small you know the small uh, pits are there pits uh, that's why this is called as scale pits the, as the name itself the surface will look looks like it, uh, this maybe you cannot see it by your naked eye but while you will use the microscope that it is easily visible to all when you so the next one is die sift so as the name itself says that die will be sifted while hammering uh, you know you are hammering the workpiece so uh, uh, this is mainly the some points are there this you, you should remember the die shift is caused by misalignment of upper and lower die when both these die are not properly aligned the forged product does not get proper dimension and the last one point is uh, the this defect can be removed by proper alignment and it can be done uh, by providing half notch of upper die and half of the lower die so at the time of alignment both these notches will be uh, matched you know so this type of product you will get finally because of the shifting of the die the work piece will be like this so this is just uh, due to that you did not have tightened the the uh, you know upper and lower die in a proper manner that's why these type of defect may occur so you should also take care of this these things while you are forging uh, uh, you know so just uh, take care of these things so, so that's why i'm showing you these type of figures so that you can grasp the thing in a very easy manner so uh, these type of defect is called a die shift effect so next uh, defect is a forging defect uh, next uh, forging defect sorry is the flex uh, these are internal cracks occurs due to improper uh, cooling of the forging product the first part so you can see here this is some internal cracks here in the figure where i am showing the arrow you can see some of the cracks are generated here this may be due to you know proper in uh, you know cool, uh, who you are not cooling the workpiece means you are hot forging you are performing hot forging for that you have to heated the sample above the recrystalline temperature that's why 
during cooling the internal outer surface get cooled you know cooled in a proper manner but inner surface has some uh, you know a greater uh, value of temperature as compared to the outer surface that is um, uh, that will generate the th thermal gradient and that may lead to the thermal stress and due to which the internal cracks may be generated some other reason may also be there may be impurities are there inside uh, uh, inside it so, so, so these type of reasons may be there to so the first point is these are internal cracks at first is to know about this then after when the forged product cools quickly that as i told you the thermal gradient and uh, these cracks generally occurs which can reduce the strength of the forged product obviously if there is a internal cracks are there that may lead to the you know some types of stress concentration will be there and uh, due to that uh, stress concentration sudden failure or fatigue failure or these type of failure may occur at uh, the strength below the actual strength of the material or workpiece this defect can be removed by the proper cooling means control over uh, controlling should be there proper controlling on the process parameter of especially heating and cooling and uh, especially thermal conductivity we should also take care of these things and uh, uh, so it can be removed especially by proper heating parameter we this will take care of these things so these type of things are there and you need to draw the figure i, I always used to mention these points that uh, you should take care of the figures always try to draw the figure whether whether this is a, a, a university exams or any competitive exams just try to draw if this is a conventional type exam you definitely have to draw the uh, figures and uh, more the figure you will draw better the marks you will get so just uh, take care of these things so the say next uh, sixth improper grain growth how how it will uh, be and what is the improper in uh, grain growth uh, th this is the first one this defect occurs due to improper flow of the material which changes the predefined grain structure of the product especially i'm telling you just try to feel the situation means if you have two product we have and one we have cooling it in a slow rate so it will get sufficient time two atoms will get diffused and will form a greater you know some greater atom will be or greater um, molecular you know diffusion will take place so that it will get you know coarse grain structure will be formed due to proper you know uh, improper cooling especially if some two atoms will get more time so it will get diffused to form the greater grain size that is called a coarse grain type structure it can be removed by proper dye design controlled working temperature controlled working temperature if there is means similar type of cooling rate if will take care so the it will not get the more time means two atoms should be get the uniform you know temperature should be there that's why in a similar manner they will not get the two grains to you know get diffused into each other to form a greater coarser type of grain structure so these things you should take care of for, for example here you can see at in the first case this first figure where i am showing you the arrow so uh, some uh, molecules are there and here you are uh, uh, you know the cooling rate is very slow so if cooling rate is very slow means very slow it will liberate the heat to the environment so the, due to this one so the adjacent you know the adjacent molecules or grains will be diffused into each other to form a coarse type of grain structure so after some time it will looks like this and then after after some times it will looks like this one so diffusion means the two uh, grain uh, you know due to sufficient time it got so the due to this one the grain growth takes place and the finally the coarse grain structure you will get so improper grain growth the impact what what is the implication of that the consequence will improved the improved ductility but a decrement in the strength the final strength you will not get uh, you know the ductility will be increased energy absorption capacity will be increased means toughness i am telling you 
but the, their navy decrement in the strength and uh, hardness of the material will also get reduced so these type you know especially i'm what i just want to tell you the if not uh, controlled you know the on the final mechanical properties of the material so just take care of these things i incomplete forging penetration so if incomplete forging a penetration i just want to tell you this type of defect also occurs in welding where two nuggets if you are just uh, welding it and the welded part means the filler material you are putting in that section lab joint for example i am telling you so it will not get filled the section completely so these type of defect may be generated so this defect arises due to incomplete forging it is due to light or a rapid hammer blow this defect can be removed by proper control on forging press so this is the figure here you can see there is an incomplete penetration incomplete penetration this these type of defect you know means you are not providing the forging pressure either or if you have not designed the uh, die properly you have not controlled the ductility of the material you have not controlled the temperature so that the ductility of the material will get uh, affected and that will lead to the incomplete penetration of the uh, uh, what the pro your die and this is this will produce a forging a defect so this type of defect is also there so you should remember this defect also and the last one is this is surface crack the first one is surface cracks occurs due to walking on surfaces at low temperature especially at low temperature all the, again the surface crack is mainly due to the thermal stresses developed at the surface and the inner surface or some by you are hot working means hot forging you are performing then uh, due to the thermal stress it may be and uh, so subsequently not cooling action is proper proper manner that's why it may be there and some excessive amount of pressure you have applied that may lead to the surface crack so in this defect so many cracks arises on the workpiece this defect the this third, third point is this defect can be removed by proper controlling of the working temperature here you can add some extra point also apart from working temperature working pressure working force you are applying die die should be proper designed so these type of things and the cracks is look like this you know so you can see this 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 type of cracks you may, you may you can you are you are not you may not be able to see it by your neck die but while you will see in the microstructure definitely you can easily see these type of defect into the microstructure so finally here we are going to conclude the lecture and thank you everyone to watching this video and uh, we will continue with this these type of video just subscribe the SIRD mechanical channel for uh, these type of interesting videos and uh, uh, just share and uh, like uh, uh, our videos thank you everyone thank you on the behalf of our sage group and SIRT mechanical department. So thank you all.